Hello there. In this tutorial, I want to show you the workflow between Cinema 3D, Mixmo, and Marvelous Designer. To be clear from the start, this is not a character design tutorial, a rigging tutorial of some sorts, or a Marvelous Designer or some cloth created tutorial. If anything, this is probably closer to a personal reminder of the workflow, because I had some hard time remembering the export settings, file type, scene setup things. That being said, it was a lot of fun to do. It looks so good. So to begin, start up Cinema 3D and model your character. Give him some shoes and glasses. Make sure he is not intersecting with the ground plane and put him in a null, which is in the center point of the world. Marvelous designer can't handle subdivision surfaces for a reason, so make sure, if necessary, to make them editable. I'll leave mine in so you can see how that's a problem later on. Now, go to File, Export and choose FPX. Choose the location of the file and hit OK. In the export settings, you can leave basically everything unchanged, but make sure uh, you check subdivision surfaces if you used any. Now, open up your browser and go to mixmo.com. This brings up the page where you need to log in with your Adobe account, or you can create another account, it's free. After that, you are on the page, you can choose a character or an animation. But on the right side of the screen, you can see you can upload a character. Hit that button, select your file and wait for it. It could take a while, depending on the complexity of your character. Sometimes it looks a bit funky, but don't worry about it. Click next. Now, you can place the points on the corresponding places of the character, and you can choose how to set up the hands. You've got five finger hands and another type, so choose anything you like. Mine come with janky all the time, because I haven't figured out how to model the hands correctly for Mixamo yet. Click next. The magic happens. Oh my god, this is the worst character anyone has ever made. Now, to make it easy on yourself in Marvelous Designer, you need to download the rig T-Pose of your model. So, if it's not in T-Pose yet, under Animations, search for T-Pose and download the model with Skin. Now you can find the animation you like and download it. You can do that with or without Skin. And anyway, you have also some other fun settings to play with. Go back to cinema. Open up the T-Pose. Hey, look, the shoes are back. Now we're gonna set up the timeline from the T-Pose to the animation. Select the bone structure. Go to Animate and select Add Motion Clip. Give your timeline enough frames for the full animation. Go to the Motion System tag and click Open in Timeline. Drag out the clip to a second or so. Now merge the second file, the one with the animation. Select the bone structure and add the same tag. Open up the timeline from the T-Pose tag and drag in the animation clip. Overlap it with T-Pose and this will give you the transition from the T-Pose to the animation. You can delete the second character after adding the tag. Now save this file and we will come back to this. Before exporting the file for Marvelous Designer, we can get rid of all the extra stuff we don't need for clothing. So, in this case, I delete the classes and the shoes. This makes the file size a lot smaller and it will be easier to export it correctly to Marvelous Designer. Now, Marvelous Designer had a hard time loading in the subdivision surfaces, so if you still have those, deactivate them. If you make them editable now, you will lose the binding. Also, make sure the center point of your character's mesh is at the world center point, or the character will not be placed correctly in the Marvelous Designer and this will give all kinds of simulation problems. Now, go to export and choose Olympic. Adjust the timeline to your liking and choose OK. If your avatar is imported correctly, it's just above the ground plane, not in it. And if you go to the animation, the animation should be there. Now, I leave some links in the description to actual clothing creating tutorials which helped me a lot, but for now I make a simple thing that kind of resembles a t-shirt. After finishing your masterpiece, go to the animation workspace, hit record and boomski. Now, before exporting, let's choose a fabric from the library and then assign them. Go to the UV editor mode, put everything in the first square, make sure the faces do not overlap, then hit the big texture button and do that thing. Give it some extra pixels. Then go to the file export Alimbic. I mostly choose thick. And then you can go to your main scene in cinema. Merge the Alimbic file and there it is. Give it some subdivision services and make a material. That doesn't work, but just go to test, select the Mixmo thing and then file current take to new document and now you can make a new material. Do the material thing, sign to your cloth, and there you go. Run on an awesome sequence. Whoop, whoop, ah!